This is Coogan Cassius for IFM London. We're at Parsons Restaurant here in Waltham Abbey for the Rudolph Walker uh, Foundation dinner. With me, I've got the very glamorous Lindsay Colson. How are you, Lindsay? I'm really good, thank you. Thank you. Did you like that glamorous bit? I liked glamorous, and I think I rolled my eyes to that, but thank you. Definitely. Um, can you just tell I us... I like that you're making me look very tall. Do you want me to come down a little bit? I like bit? you, just a little, thanks. Well, I don't know, actually, it might be good, quite good for my neck, wouldn't it? No, stay there. You're I'll right. stay there. Yeah. I'll stay there. God. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here at the Rudolph uh, Walker Foundation dinner? Well, I'm here, obviously, to support it, but I'm a mentor of the Rudy Walker Awards. I was a mentor. I can't really hear myself speak, actually. You can hear me, obviously. We can hear you absolutely fine. <laughs> um, I did it for the first time last year. I, I mentored a school in Walthamstow, and it was an amazing experience for me and for the kids I learned a huge amount from them and I think hopefully they learned some stuff from me and then it culminated in a show at the Millfield Theatre um, where about I don't know maybe about 10 or 11 schools the best of the schools end up in this sort of doing this show and I, I think when we think about our youth and we demonize our youth and we worry about our youth for the future I was so inspired by them that I thought all, all we haven't lost hope and um, they were just amazing and they were thinking out of the box. Our school schooling is so rigid in the way that we teach our kids. And when you see them desperate to, to think of new ways of being and, and new projects and stuff, it was great. I loved it. So I got lots from it and it was amazing. Um, obviously the idea behind this scheme and award is to you know, get people interested in drama yeah. and Rudolph's doing a great thing. When you was a kid, was how big a thing was drama? Were, were people wanting to get into it back then? No, that I, do you know what? There wasn't the schemes that happen now. And I went to school. Well, drama wasn't on the curriculum. I mean, I think, you know, I'm quite old. So uh, the first... 30 is an old. The first two years of my schooling, my, you know, my higher school education, we, st we did drama in year one and two, and then we didn't do it. It wasn't seen as a sort of valuable tool. Um, that's changed. It's brilliant. You, can never do, you couldn't do a drama de degree or a drama O level then. Shows you how old I am. So it's so important. Still, some schools don't recognise that because it has. It doesn't have to be about being a performer or an actor. I mean, the, the group that I had last year weren't necessarily going to act, but what I got from them, and I think hopefully they take with them the rest of their life, is that they're powerful women because it was an all girls school, and that just in terms of how they use their voice and how how they grew in the six weeks that I spent with them, they grew to these incredibly powerful women, and I just thought. That's brilliant. I'm sorry, I've, I've sidetracked your question. We didn't have it, and I think it would have really been brilliant for me to, have, to you know, to have had that in my schooling. Is there a secret to cracking it as an actor uh, for television in this country, or is it literally for a bit of good luck and hard work? I think it's good luck. I think it is about being in the right place at the right time. But I think, like anything, and I would say to any young people, if you want something enough, then you have to put in the work behind it and. I think you have to have another skill with an actor. I mean, you know, you know that. I think you have to have something else. It's getting closer and closer. Stay back. <laughs> HD camera, move back. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think it is luck. I mean, you know, look, you know, 99, I don't know what the statistics are, but a lot of us are out of work at any given point. So, you know, doing this gives something back. And um, I've been very lucky, right place, right time. But when those opportunities have come, I've been ready and, and able to do them. So it's, you know, so I, I've worked really hard at, at trying to get where I've got. But we, we, we don't just stay there. That's the thing about this career. You know, just, you don't get to a place and then it, 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 it is the end of it. It just constantly dips and, you know, we have highs and lows like anything in life. Can I make a confession to you? Yes. Major crush on Carol Jackson. Major what? Crush on Carol Jackson. Really? Absolutely. That's fantastic. And have I ruined it for you now? Yeah, I've met you and you're like <laughs> nothing like Carol Jackson. I don't know. Is that good or bad then? No, I don't know. You just shattered the illusion of Carol Jackson. Well, I just tie my hair up for a second and tell you off if you like that. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Ma massive crush. It's not, I'm not even lying about that. Aww. But, um, oh, that's really kind. No, especially it's good. It's good. It's absolutely. <laughs> but um, just a little bit of word about soap. Obviously, the nation's number one soap. And you're, you've been such a, a massive character on it. Yeah. You had the gap out of it, but yeah. you know how good is it being part of that? It's it's great to be part of it. I think the thing is, it's like a factory. It goes at such a pace. So to do any good work on it for everybody, writers, directors, you know, you've got to be quick. You've got to do it very quickly, and um, 
I, you know, I think it's a fantastic job. I think it's a great job. Whether I want to play her for the rest of my life, that's another thing. But I think it's a great, great job to, to come and do and, and be in. I feel very grateful for it. And just looking at me now, could I have been a Jackson? Do you think I could have fitted into the Jackson family? Yeah, Where would you put know. me? I don't know. I, I, I think you could have been my lover. Could that have happened? I think it could still happen. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to speak to a couple of people here <laughs> and see if we make this happen. No, I'm joking, Lindsay. But um, listen... My, uh, child. my long-lost child somewhere. Could be, yeah. Because yeah. you've got a few children. Carol has got children. a few She might have some more somewhere. Yeah, thank you. We're being hurried along here. I think this is going to kick off now. So yeah, thank, thank you. you for talking thank to iPhone London and yeah, it's a pleasure you. to meet you, yeah, Lindsay. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Coogan Cassius with Lindsay Coulton for iPhone London. She's just walking off there. Thank you very much. <laughs>